All right. So I already flipped up the seat for you, but this is the PZ60. <clears throat> so basically what you gotta do is you gotta flip up the seat, like I've already done, so you can get it accessed underneath the seat. And here's the, ten the belt tensioner for your blades. That nut right there, you have to loosen it all the way up, almost where it comes off, but not quite. And then, this is what I do. <clears throat> well, I do that. I take it all the way to it's almost off. And then that loosens it up enough so that underneath the machine, this is your bottom belt here. You should be able to pull the belt and roll it off of the um, pulley. Once you get that belt off of there, then your next step is to <clears throat> take this nut and bolt, but th this nut and this nut, take them all the way off, slide your bolt towards the pulley, both of them, and this bracket here will kind of drop down. <clears throat> and then your next step is to unplug your clutch uh, wiring which is right up there you you can you can't really see it but it's just right there unplug it this will hang down and then the <clears throat> what you have to do is there's a uh, pull or uh, idler um, I'm sorry tensioner which is right here. There's a square hole in about the middle of this arm. It's a half inch drive. So you put a half inch drive ratchet in there. And then it's best to have two guys, but if, <clears throat> if it's just you, then put the half inch drive in there. And then um, you basically what you're going to do is you're going to pull it towards the back of the machine and then wedge it and so then that way this belt here will be loose and then you can kind of roll it off and then it what it does is it goes from the uh, the back of the motor this the up top and then it goes around the belt tensioner and then <clears throat> it goes around there's two pulleys let's see if I can video this so you can see it um, let's see here it's kind of dark over there let me see okay there it is so it goes around that pulley which is one of your um, hydraulic motors and then it snakes its way straight across to the other pulley which is right there and then back to the top pulley on the motor but once you uh, loosen this belt tension tensioner which is you know putting that half inch drive in there and then just ratcheting it up and <clears throat> what I do is is I just uh, wedge it up against something that loosens it up and uh, loosens it up enough and then you can roll the belt off of either ten the tensioner seems to work the best and then when, <clears throat> when you uh, go to put the new one on you have to uh, basically do the reverse so you uh, you slide it in here and then um, You'll basically slide it from this side here. And then it's going to go, go around this. Wrap it around your two uh, hydraulic uh, pulleys, which is, that's one of them right there. And the other one is on the other side, but they're pretty much, you, you can see better when you get under here. But And then put that on there first, and then just do the reverse, which is once you get your pulley on there, then you got to put this 
bracket back up in there and your uh, the two bolts are right there they've got square um, heads on them so they fit up in this uh, this um, bracket here and then tighten the your nuts back up plug this um, wiring back up for your uh, your clutch and then um, once you get that in there, and then you basically, um, this pulley here, or the, I'm sorry, the belt, bottom belt, is going to, uh, you just got to roll this back on there. And then you're going to go to the very top. Sorry about all this. And you're going to tighten this uh, nut about a third of the way down. And then just check your tension on your belt. And then you're done with uh, replacing the, um, the drive belt. But that only needs to be done. Um, I had this, I've had this machine either six or seven years. And I've had to do it one time. So, But hopefully that helps you guys. All right. Thanks for watching.